Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming. And if you're new to the channel, every Monday and every Thursday around 1 p.m. we do sneaker and tech reviews. And if you can tell by the title of today's video, we got another sneaker review for y'all, man. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what I think is my favorite LeBron silhouette, and that's the LeBron 11 in the South Beach colorway, man. So I don't wanna hold y'all up. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Okay, so I usually have a shoe box to show y'all, but um, with this particular shoe band that I've had it for so long, I don't know what happened to the shoe box. Somebody got wet or something like that, but nonetheless, I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown of the sneakers. So this shoe was originally released in the 2013 uh, year of LeBron James' career. He's with the Miami Heat. He left the Miami Heat in 2014 to go play with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but when the shoe was released, it was released at around 200 bucks. And this specific color that we got today, which is like the, the South Beach colorway, is kind of like a turquoise, um, mint, and black colorway. But nonetheless, um, this shoe came out and it just, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, they had came out with the new like lunar lawn uh, zoom air cushioning, which we'll see um, in the shoe today. But I love it. I love this. probably like my favorite shoe uh, that LeBron's ever came out with, which is the LeBron 11. But that lunar lawn um zoom technology or was a combination of the zoom and the lunar lawn uh technology which is where they uh put all of the cushioning in the sole of the shoe rather the cushioning be in the actual shoe itself so i thought it was pretty dope or uh, like i said that shoe was released the original um lebron 11 was released back in 2013 but this shoe was released towards the end of his career with the miami heat which is in um, i want to say june 21st 2014 was when the south beach was released but from when that shoe was released all the way up until after he played with the heat they just kept coming with different colorways different colorways there's so many different colors in this shoe uh, i've had the south beach and i want to say the what the lebron 11 uh, which is like a mashup of all the shoes in one and those shoes got stolen but uh but nonetheless man on uh, with these i ended up having to get a size 10 in these not because i wanted to but because it was the last shoe if i can remember um i want to say you want to go up half a size on them though uh, i wouldn't go true to size on them because they're so narrow at the toe box but i went ended up, ended up getting these in the 10 so they kind of bulky on me but they do fit good because the shoe does fit snug on it so um i don't want to hold y'all up man let's go ahead and take a look at the shoe Okay, so we got the LeBron 11 in the South Beach colorway. If anyone familiar with Miami, you know, the South Beach colorway is kind of that, that turquoise and pink Miami Nights, Miami Vice color. And I ain't got the shoe box, so I'm just trying to give y'all a quick tour of the shoe before I put them down and give y'all a detailed review of the shoe. So I'm going to grab this, this left shoe. I always like to go with the left shoe. So... Boom, and there you have it. You have the LeBron 11 and the Miami South Beach colorway. Um, this is like my favorite LeBron silhouette, which is the the uh, LeBron 11. I'll grab any of them in, 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 that, in whatever colorway they have. But nonetheless, man, um, I don't know if I went over the price of these. These originally was released for like 200 bucks. Right now, you can probably get them on GOAT or StockX for like 200 maybe $300. Um, they are up on resale when it comes to these, but nonetheless, man, you um, have this, uh, what is like a black turquoise and mint colorway with hints of pink in it. And as y'all can see, you do have this leather, the black, see what it says, what the black is, that is leather. And then you just have this, this rubber sole. Um, and then you just got this hard plastic on the outside, but this is a very detailed, nonetheless, shoe um, on the plastic, you can see which is kind of like uh, the flowers. If you ever seen like a, a, a palm tree or something like that, these look like the, um, I don't know if you can see them. It, it, it's like the engraving of palm trees inside of that, that hard plastic. Yeah, you can see it more on the back, but you can see the, you can see it, the, just the, the palm trees. They represent the Miami palm trees or the South Beach look. So to see if y'all can get that right there. But you can see it more right here on this hard plastic. But nonetheless, you got the um, the leather, which is the black, like I said, and then you got this hard plastic with this rubber at the bottom. Then you got this uh, black shank. Then you see the LeBron signature. And then you got a, like a kind of an inverted uh, swoosh that's, that's kind of um, 3D-ish that stands out. Then on the other side, you have a, uh, this was leather. That's leather. 
um, a swoosh as well. Then you have like a low cut on the pull tab. I wouldn't call it the pull tab, but just the heel of the shoe, the back of the shoe is low cut. And then you have the LeBron logo on the tongue, as you can see with the black and then the pink. And then you have the, um, I think that said, I think that says for South Beach, if I'm mistaken. I don't know. I don't know what to say right there. <laughs> but it says it right here, too. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. Six, I want to say? I don't know. But anyway, this is a size 10. And then you also have the the lion. Like I said on my last uh, video I did with the LeBron, you had that lion right there. Um, lace lock system. And then you have the hints of the pink, which is at the back of the tongue. The tips of your shoelaces that also got LeBron as well and then you got the pink fly wire so what fly wire does if anyone does not know what fly wire does fly wire is a system a wiring system that allows you when you're lacing up the shoes you got different wires so these right here i don't know if you can see but you can see the wire it's a wire right here and it's pink so basically what that does is it helps you lock the shoe down on your feet so when you when you tighten up the shoe the wire pulls you know the shoe tighter on your feet so that's what um fly wire means i know a lot of people may say it but you can also see it like you can see it right here in the back of the shoe or in inside of the shoe where the fly wire runs and it allows you to, to you know lock the shoe down on your feet for more security and stability um but yeah man real dope shoe real dope shoe um i want to say see if i'm missing anything on this but yeah, so like I said, with the size, and I, I ended up having to get a size 10. I want to say when I got ready to get this shoe, I wouldn't go normally pick up a size 10 on the shoe, knowing that that's a big size of me. I'm, a, I'm more of a nine. Uh, my true size is a nine, but I was looking for a nine and a half in these. They did not have them. The only size that they had was a size 10. When I tried on the 10, this, the 10 fit real good. Um, I mentioned it earlier about the Lunar Lawn uh, and the Zoom technology. So most shoes have an air bubble or some sort of air. Um, LeBron had the, the zoom technology where he had the air zoom on the bottom of his shoes. They tried something different with this one and this is what I love about the shoe is they put all of the cushioning inside of the, I'm trying to get it out, inside of the, uh, the sole. So here you have it. This is where all your cushioning is goes right here and it's, it's air inside of this right here it feels like a bubble and then you can see where they put the air in right here so this is the first time they ever tried this with a lebron shoe now if you look at the inside of the shoe you can see straight through the shoe <laughs> you can see straight through the shoe because there's nothing in there there's no cushioning so you couldn't wear the shoe like this but with this they put all of the air technology and all of the air cushioning so this is a very very comfortable and responsive shoe Nonetheless, but this is my favorite LeBron, which is the LeBron 11. We're gonna go ahead and try these on so y'all can see how they look on feet. Like I said, retail run you about 200 bucks. If they ever decide to re-release them, they should be about 200 bucks. But if you want to grab your pair, it's gonna be like 292, 300 dollars on StockX. But this is probably my favorite LeBron silhouette, and that's the LeBron 11. So yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and try these on. Okay, so y'all seen how they look on feet, and there we go right here. We have the LeBron 11 in the South Beach colorway. And if you ever been to Miami, man, if you just this Miami Vice alone, if you're familiar with the Miami Vice look, this is it right here. And like I said, on the swoosh, man, you got the the palm trees. Like that's is when they were doing these shoes, man. It, it was I don't know. They really went into details with these shoes. So everything on these shoes means something. This is not just a shoe. Uh, 
that doesn't that doesn't symbolize nothing. This is when this was a tribute to LeBron when he left Miami and was going to uh, Cleveland. So they got so many different colorways of him wearing these in Miami. Then they went on to he he went to Cleveland in 2014, but he his last season with Miami was 2013-2014 season. And then he went on to Cleveland, back to Cleveland, and won a championship with them. But you can see the details in the man, the palm trees inside of the swoosh, the palm trees inside of the plastic. And I mean, for me, I always like to rate my shoes. And if I had to rate these, man, this is going to be a 10 out of 10. I don't really give perfect scores on shoes because shoes are flawed with so many different things. But when you look at the, the 20, back in the... I don't know, back in that time, man, like I said, the big three, when you had the LeBrons, KDs, and the Kobe's all coming at the same time, it was a competition of which was which, which was the better shoe, but man, I always loved the LeBron, so I would give this a 10 out of 10, cop or not, I would definitely cop these, these are just a shoe to have, like I said, basketball season just started, man, and LeBron's getting ready to retire, these shoes are going to really go up in price. Um, like I said, I had another pair of these, the What the LeBrons, where it was a mixture. So you had one shoe that was totally one different color, then another shoe that was a totally different color, but it was a mix, mix up of all of the shoes put into one shoe. So you had these shoes, it was just a crazy colorway. Someone stole those, man. Um, if I had to buy another pair of the 11s, it would have been the what, the what the LeBrons. Then they had the What the Colby's, they had the What the KD's, where they just mixed them all up and mashed up all the shoes. Like one shoe would have a different tone, this shoe would have a different tone, one have a different, like it was just crazy, it was a crazy shoe, y'all might want to check those out, but nonetheless, man, 10 out of 10, definitely a cop, I mean, for the price on these, and like I said, these was a different technology with the different types of soles in them, then also you can see the LeBron logo on the inside and the pink, just the hints of pink, I'm a, I'm a Miami guy, I'm a Florida guy, so this is this is this is like perfect this is heaven on earth for me so then you had the flywire technology you see right there it says flywire which like i showed y'all you got the flowers you can see the flywire in the background when you pull the lace the lace pulls that pink and it pulls it up and it just locks the shoe onto your feet so nonetheless man this is like a perfect shoe for me 10 out of 10 definitely a cop if you can get your hands on them if they ever re-release re them i would definitely recommend them but nonetheless, man, if y'all made it this far in the video, man, I want to appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's Dirty Red Gaming, and I'm out.